Okay, so we're almost done with the hardest part of this whole process. So let's get the last couple of things mapped out and then we can move on to taking a look at how this looks in UE4. And let's get this glass in the correct place. So again, I'm just gonna to go to select Q tab and just select the front faces. And then I'm gonna grow the selection. One sec, I'm just gonna select all the way up to the almost last piece and then grow that selection. Control and greater than. And then in here we can go create UV shell and unfold, and orient and then rotate that. Let's just make sure the top is definitely the top. Yes it is. Then we can bring that down to our little screen that we made here and set that in place. And we need to try and get this as accurate as we can. Get that in the middle. And I wanna try and make sure there's a, a little warping on this as possible or I'll else if there is make sure that it's evenly distributed because if we put te text on here I don't want it looking too warped so I want to get this as close to that edge as I can so that we get some of that nice bevel that we did might mean just manually moving this a little bit more out so that we get all that bevel in there and we don't get a broken line around the edge Okay, that's close enough. All right, so we've got our screen done. So we're almost done with this now. We've got the edges on this to do. So let's grab the ring of them and deselect the bottom. And select the rest. So we can again grow this selection. And then deselect what we don't want. To check over the whole model, make sure that that is definitely selected. So then let's go to create, uh, do a camera based. So we have selected some extra faces here, so we can just go deselect them here and create UV shell. Now let's unfold this. And now we've got to try and straighten this out. So it's probably best if we do a couple of cuts here and here. And then straighten them individually. So shift, right click, cut. Select these shells, unfold them, orient them. And then straighten those UVs. Make sure it's neat. And then this one, unfold, orient, then we'll see what happens. So the straighten UVs isn't going to work on this as is. We might have to manually straighten these. Do a move and so see what that looks like. Straighten them. Okay, that looks pretty neat. And we just need to do the same for this one now. So I'm just going to rotate that and get it close. All right, and then let's align this with one of those chrome trim pieces. Set the size of that. And it's pretty close, as is. So that texel density matches almost exactly with this, so that's really good. So 
So that should give a nice bevel around the entire edge of that. So we've actually got a hard edge here, so we just wanna make sure that this is nice and soft. Same on this side as well. So there could be some issues here. You can see where that's been stretched further out. So if we just come back to that, might just want to relax that a little bit in this area. even select these and just optimize this whole area here because we don't need to worry about this so we can just relax it all just slightly as long as those outer edges are neat we do the same here so it's just trying to strike that balance you know Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If it really wasn't working, then what we could do is just cut this properly and put a panel line in here. Um, so it's not one continuous flow. Um, but you just need to kind of test these things out, see what works. But now we've got this nice panel loop here. So it looks like we've got more geometry than we actually do. So we can finalize this by putting our um, painted faces in here. So first of all, I want to grab the entire back side of this and we will go under here as well we can go uh, create uv shell we can unfold that orient it set it to the densel den tetzel density rotate it back yep top edge there so let's find a nice panel for this to go on to. So probably this base panel here. So let's rotate that again. And let's just straighten those UVs. Let's see what we've got here in terms of normal lines. Okay, so we're gonna have to scale this down a little bit. So we're gonna have to stretch those texels just a bit shouldn't matter it's hardly very much and then let's make this a little bit wider So now we've got a nice neat panel around the back there that wraps completely around that back piece. We could even separate this into further panels to make it look like axis hatches and stuff. Uh, so I might actually do that. If we grab a face here and go extrude, but then just offset it. And then let's just make this look like some sort of access panel here. And we can go create UV shell. Move this along maybe to this one. It'll fit nicely on there. Now I want to split these two into two panels and the same for this side as well. So I'm just going to select them both at the same time. Create, camera based, let's say unfold. Let's orient them. Let's orient this one over. Let's set the density of these and then stack them. And let's place these over one of the large panels here. So for now, I don't want a panel line on this side. I want it on the other side. So I'm going to select these and rotate. I'll just actually, I'm going to move these up here. 
and just align the front edge with that panel line. So we've got a panel line there. Because I'm just going to have this tuck into here. And I'm going to do the same with this as well. So again, I'm going to select this. And the same on the other side. Great, camera based, unfold, orient. Let's see, uh, orient. And I want to flip this. And then let's set and stack. And then we can place this over that panel as well. I might need to orient this one more time. So I'm going to orient it the other way. Because what I don't want is it details on here being obviously a repeat here. So a way to get around that is just to flip it or rotate it. And you get something slightly different. You'll still get the details in there, but because they're rotated and flipped, they're not as easy to spot. They don't stand out quite as much. I've accidentally just grabbed the bottom there as well, so we can just snap them off again. So I want a panel line here and here. So if I rotate that this way, should be able to get that there. So that's that side done. Now the very last piece is the bottom and also I guess the interior as well. So we should have, it should be easily to just select here. So let's cut that bottom piece off. So first of all, let's just grab all the edges in the loop there and go cut. And then let's grab that interior here. So UV shell, shell. Let's create camera based. Let's unfold that. Orient it. Let's see what happens when we straighten these UVs. Ugh. Let's uh, let's deselect these pieces. So let's select all the edges. Deselect these ones. Straighten these. Optimize. Straighten. And then let's optimize these. And then let's straighten these edges here. So that's pretty neat. That's quite a neat shell. Let's kind of get the. Um, so it's quite big. So this would be a perfect one to use as a tiling texture rather than having to try and fit this to a piece. Um, but for now, let's let's just do that. Actually, we're just going to scale that in and I'm just going to shove it on a piece of the orange for now. We can come back to that and neaten it up later on. And let's get these plastic here. So this is the very last piece to do. And for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cut down the edges here. And cut these edges also. Unfold and orient them.
set and stack. And then let's put these over the plastic. I think if I can remember where the plastic was. I think it was these little ones up here. So we just line these up to any bits of this plastic here. Just get the bevel top and bottom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap the front faces of these off. Let's create normal. Let's uh, optimize them. Stack them. And bring them back down here. And I'm going to align them with one of these little blocks that I made. see we've got some bevel details on that and that has pretty much brought us to the end of the applying the trim sheet to this so the next step is to oh we've got one more piece on the top here oh we definitely want to make that a, uh, a nice little piece so this is our chrome piece okay so let's just isolate this uh, make sure we've got no base no okay so let's select the center piece of this go create uh, camera based unfold that orient it, Let's put it up on a nice piece of chrome, wherever we've got some nice strips of chrome, so this one I'll do here, and then let's get them front faces, so we can just grow that selection until we get all the way, and go create, camera based, unfold them. Uh, let's orientate them. Let us set the scale. And let's stack them. And then place them over a piece of chrome. Nice big piece of chrome here. Now this one here. So we don't need to show any edges of that because we've got the edge of the top bit. So it should look like it kind of tucks underneath there. And then we just need some detail on the top of here, which I've got a good idea of what we can put there. Okay then. All right, so yeah, so all that trim sheet is now applied to that. So we could go into this trim sheet and we can start adding some, uh, some extra details into this. Uh, but for this, purpose of this tutorial I'm going to leave off doing any extra details like that I'm going to try and keep it as simple as possible so the next step on this is to create our decals uh, and place them in on top in place um, but before we do that let's test this out in UE4 and get that set up in UE4 that way we can come back to this and create some um, details on this oh let me just make sure that we've got no engons on here still got a few lurking around all right then so next let's set this up in ue4 and then apply our decals to see kind of what extra detail we can put onto this